Hey everyone, we're back, and before we begin, I'd just like to start off by saying that on my last YouTube video, I left a little video description that explained that I had gotten injuries. Well, the injury uh, was an ankle injury. I ended up rolling my ankle when I was going down the stairs last Wednesday, and for, for a little while, I thought it was broken because it just hurt really, really bad. You know how it is. And the next day, I went to to the doctors. They told me that it was most likely a sprain, but if it didn't really improve over two days, uh, then it might be broken. So, luckily, it, it was just sprained. It's gotten better. I can actually walk on it now. So, past the drama of my in my life, back to Super Mario RPG. We're we're taking Princess Peach back to the castle. She's finally home. And yes, she has a few new friends. I think uh, I'll make a few videos tonight and some in the morning because I started this a bit later than I usually do. I should have a bit of time after my morning class tomorrow. Well, of course you're thankful. You've always been after you've been got after you've gotten kidnapped. <laughs> they all run scared of Bowser, but Mario's there. Why are they scared? He can just take Bowser out like he usually does. Of course there is no bridge over lava here. Then maybe that's why. Mallow, don't give Bowser pick-me-ups, they're too expensive. Come on, Mallow, think. Down through the miniature star that appeared out of nowhere. Bowser has just too much self-satisfaction, or whatever you'd like to call it. To admit that he's been kicked out. Call it what you want. It's just Bowser. And Mallow's still after his parents. Do you know the man dressed in blue? His only interest is stars and wishes. And that reminds me of a funny picture that I saw a few days ago. Yeah, the picture of uh, Mario fighting Smithy, the final boss of this game. And it had the caption of Smithy, uh, he destroyed the Star Road, he wants to fill the world with weapons and destroy wishes. Under that, it had the caption of Smithy is the first re Republican Mario boss. I just found that funny. To those of you who are wondering, I don't really get into politics, so I guess I wouldn't be classed into a Republican or Democrat or whatever. Although there are some political issues that I will speak up about, but that's not for that's not for Super Mario RPG. To those of you who don't know, if you go to your save thing and say to replace a save 50 times and then actually save it, well, what I mean is if you save it, cancel the save, say no to it, but then say yes on the 50th time, Mario will make that little that, that sword pose thingy right there in the save block. It's kind of kind. Of, it's kind of time-consuming to do, so I won't do it for you. But I'm sure that if you search uh, search YouTube's, you'll find it somewhere. Mario, quit thinking about it. We're definitely going to be taking Peach. She's the single most broken healing character I have ever seen.
the old people know everything. What? The narrator for Super Mario RPG seems to already know what's gonna happen. There's an invisible, invisible guy telling us not to fight the pointy creatures at Star Hill, but we're not gonna be fighting anything. What we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, buying some items. Only one more of those left. Let's buy two more. Let's see, what else do we have? Single froggy drink. That well, looks good. So off to Tadpole Pond. Frog Fuchsius telling us to go to Star Hill. That is one of the only times in the game where you actually have to talk to somebody to move on. The entire world's in, in just a circle, so you think the next choice of action would be obvious, but oh well. Before we go on, I'm going to go ahead and save here, and we'll continue this let's play on next video.